I'm going to be um, demoing the uh, Drupal Get-In um, vulnerability and hacking it from start to finish. So Drupal Get-In is when, uh, you know, the Drupal server is less than uh, 7.31. Um, it's vulnerable to the SQL injection. Here's the CVE, and that is what we're going to work on today. Um, th it's actually this server here. Um, and so let's get started. So I'm on my Kali box and Kali is a Linux uh, distribution with um, a lot of hacking tools built into it. And um, you know, the biggest is uh, Metasploit framework. Um, and so I'm kicking it off here. And whenever we start off with any uh, penetration tests, you know, we have to do reconnaissance. And so what I'm going to do is um, just, you know, do an nmap scan of uh, that server, 192.168.56. Dot 105. So I'm going to do a SYN scan and um, run it against the scripting engine that is um, in Nmap. So let's let that run. Um, Nmap, as you all know, you know it's a port scanner and it's a very good one. Um, so in case you know I don't know anything about the server. Um, we want to start off with a port scan. So here, it's already done. Um, it only has port 80 open, which is HTTP. And if I didn't know that it was a Drupal server, um, you know, I can kind of tell with the um, the directory structure that it has. So like maintainers and change log and, and all of that. So if I go to that um, directory, I can see that it's a Drupal 7.30 server. So back to Cali. Um, you know, so I do a little bit of research and I find out, hey, this is vulnerable to uh, that CVE. So let's just go search. For that CVE and there you go. We have an exploit that was uh, created for Drupal Geddon. So I'm going to be using that. And let's just read about this exploit. So it says this module exploits the Drupal HTTP parameter key value SQL injection, aka Drupal Geddon. And it was tested against Drupal 7.0 and 7.31, but it's fixed in 7.32. So I'm going to set the R host to that Drupal server. And make sure that it's set, and then I'm just going to exploit it. So it's sending an exploit to the Drupal server and it uh, started a interpreter session. And so basically at this point, um, that Drupal server has been hacked. A interpreter payload is um, a payload that is uh, special to um, Metasploit framework um, and it exists in memory. So now we have a interpreter prompt. So um, I like to start off with, you know, getting a UID so that I can tell, you know, what the user is. And I can also, you know, take a look at all the running processes that are in this, um, that's running on the Drupal server. And, and if I wanted to know which one it is that I'm running, it's uh, 1375, which is, there you go. It's that one. Um, so I want a shell prompt onto that Drupal server. And when I do, I want to see 
you know, that I'm really on there. And I am because here is the IP address of that Drupal server. Now, let's find out who I am. So I am this www.data uh, user account. So now, whenever I hack into a Linux server or any server, I like to find out, you know, uh, what I can get. So I like to go and look for the usernames, and um, that's the Etsy password file. And I also like to get the Etsy shadow file, you know. Um, this stage of hacking is called post-exploitation, where we're actually trying to get good data and good information off the server. So um, I have permission denied. So that tells me I'm a limited user. So what I need to do is um, find a way, you know, if I can, to escalate privileges and um, try to you know, become a root user because that would be the ultimate goal, would be nice. So um, let's find out if this server has a uh, Linux kernel um, privilege escalation uh, module. And it looks pretty old, so it might. So we find out that it's Linux Drupy 3.130. So let's go to the um, exploit database and find it. So there are basically like one. These look like they're the same. Someone has built an exploit so that we can escalate privileges um, on the kernel. And see, when I downloaded it, it's this one. So it's, it's really the same. Um, I'm not directly connected on, to the internet, you know, in this hack lab of mine. So uh, what I did was I had created on my Kali system, um, I just started a web service and I created this website about, you know, a cute um, cat image. So if you were to click on this cat image, you would actually get that exploit downloaded to your system. So, um, Back on my Kali, you know, my prompt. Um, I'm on the Drupal server here. So what I would like to do is just use um, wget to download that exploit. So let's go and move to the temp file because that's nice to have. And, okay. So um, I'm just going to download it. Okay, so it's downloaded. And let's just make sure it's downloaded. Okay, so um, I have to decompile it, so I'm gonna do that. Then that should be long enough. So there it is. It's um, downloaded and decompiled. So I'm going to run it. And there you go. Um, here's the pound symbol. And you know, in Linux, that's a root account. Um, so who am I? I'm a root user. And now when I go to cat Etsy shadow, I can see that whole file. So if I copy down, you know, the cat Etsy shadow and the cat Etsy um, password, then I can combine them and, um, you know, crack the user accounts. So that's it. Thank you.